Hi, my name is David Hardiman. I'm with Walt Disney Imagineering Show Design and Production, and we're here at the monstrous summer showcase here at Walt Disney World's Grand Floridian Hotel. Let's start by talking about what your goals were heading into this redesign of Test Track. Well, initially, the look was much more industrial, and it was about the safety testing of the vehicle. What we wanted to do in the reimagining of the attraction was to let the guests experience what it would be like to take on the role of automotive designer themselves and custom design their own vehicles. What impact uh, have video games played and the popularity, especially of racing games, played in how you guys put this new kiosk together? Well, all of us uh, have grown up in the age of gaming. Uh, the designers, uh, whether or not they game themselves, uh, are parents of gamers. So uh, obviously there's a lot of influence in general in our culture now uh, with gaming. We do it on our phones, we do it on our tablets. Um, so we knew that that was an important part of, uh, of entertaining our guests uh, as they wait for attractions these days. So what we tried to do was uh, allow them to experience that firsthand through some of the latest touchscreen technology that we have available to us. Can you walk us through some of that touchscreen technology and how you customize a car much like you would in a video game? Sure. So when you approach the attraction, what you're going to do is you're going to associate your card with the touch point, which will enter you into the design phase. Language options obviously get you started. And then you'll come to a variety of choices of what type of vehicle, whether it's a coupe, a sports utility vehicle, or a micro car. We'll go with a, a fast car. You get to actually draw what you think the right shape for your vehicle should be. Now we built in the software some optimization features that help smooth out that line for you. There are so many customizable options as you go throughout the experience. Lots of ways to really make each design feel like your own. Once you've decided on a particular shape, it'll render the vehicle, kind of like the concept phase. Now we have a lot of opportunities to add more details. We can custom sculpt the shape, a little more headroom or legroom, change the length. And you'll see that these attributes up top are affected with every change that we make. So we're going to be grading your designs for their capability, efficiency, responsiveness, and power. Ultimately, you have the opportunity to choose an engine here. You can go on the more eco-sensitive end, or if you want a little more power, you can go all the way up to plasma burner. Now, once you've rendered your full concept design, there are still some attributes you can change. Every car has a face. You can make it kind of more of a happy face or a little more aggressive. Color we know is a, a big choice for everyone when they're buying a new car. Change the shade and color. You can even add some custom graphics. Some racing stripes, some flames. Let's go with flames. You can change the wheels. Something a little more futuristic, front and back. There's a fun one. And then uh, let's change the size. As you can see, every time you go through this, it's a little different. And then these subtle changes are happening to your scores. All kinds of accessories here. Let's do something on the side. Let's add some effects on the side there. How about some side pipes? and then maybe a nice classic fender there. And there we have a finished design, ready to go onto the sim track for testing. Now, can you talk a little about how this car will then continue on the journey in the actual attraction? Sure. What you'll do after you exit the design studio is you'll approach the load area and you'll associate your design with our ride vehicle. That will upload it into the sim track so that we can test it against those four attributes, capability, responsiveness, efficiency, and power. And at the end of the ride, there will also be some ways to interact, including a video game. Can you talk about that experience? Sure. At the end of the attraction, you're going to be able to see your, your design and how it did overall in a high scoreboard. You'll also be able to compare your design against your other guests that you're traveling with that day. And then there are a variety of ways that you can further customize your creation. You can create a commercial and send it home. Uh, you can drive it on a virtual uh, slot car track, or you can take a photo op with your vehicle and send that home as well. That uh, multiplayer 
uh, slot track is pretty cool. Can you talk about how you guys built that? So the virtual driving table um, it has a lot of great elements to it. One, you get the experience of actually driving your vehicle, which you don't get on the attraction per se. On the attraction, you get to see how it's done in terms of comparison to the, to the sim car. But in this case, you actually get to test it uh, as though you were driving it around a, a racetrack. And you get to race against your fellow competitors as well, see how their designs are doing. How has uh, new technology opened the door for you guys to create experiences that are more video game like, like this? Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I'm kind of a, a third generation Imagineer. You know, in the beginning, uh, their goal was to use technology to tell a story, but the technology was hidden. And then the second generation, we started to talk a little bit about the Imagineering way and how we do things. Now, technology is such an everyday part of our lives that we get the benefit of actually showing it off. So, it's a little easier in some respects, but uh, it, it, it just offers up all kinds of new opportunities for us to, to use it in, in different ways.